it's Aaron Boma here. So serving as military specialist for Carleton County, I'm going to give you another demonstration, another war history presentation. Uh, this is the, one of the ones on the World War II timeline that I'm going to cover. Going back just a bit and to cover the invasion of Yugoslavia, which is actually connected to, of course, the invasion of Greece. So, of course, this, uh, the April War, uh, what Hitler called Operation 25, of course, a German-led attack on the Kingdom of Yugoslavia by the Axis powers, which began on April 6, 1941, during the Second, Second World War. Of course, for the order of the invasion was put forward in Fuhrer Directive Number 25, which Adolf Hitler issued on March 27, 1941. Is following a, a Yugoslav coup d'etat that overthrew um, a pro axis uh, government, a pro Nazi government. So, <clears throat> so this is what happens here. This is, of course, uh, the end result. Um, a fractured Yugoslavia, um, Croatia, which is a German ally, uh, Serbia, occupied by Germany, um, occupied by Hungary, which is another ally of Germany and occupied by Italy, of course, another ally of Nazi Germany. And then parts here occupied by Bulgaria uh, and the Yugoslavia boundary line, and that's in 1940 here. And then, of course, Albania is occupied by Italy. Um, so the Balkans campaign of World War II began with the Italian invasion of Greece, of course, which we, we covered on October 28, 1940, in the early months of 1941. Italy's offensive had stalled and a Greek counter-offensive pushed into Albania. Germany sought to aid Italy by deploying troops to Romania and Bulgaria and attacking Greece in the east, from the east. Meanwhile, the British landed troops and aircraft to shore up uh, Greek defenses. A coup d'etat in Yugoslavia on 27th of March caused Hitler to order the conquest of that country. The invasion of Yugoslavia by Germany and Italy began on 6th of April, as I mentioned, simultaneously, simultaneously with the new, invade, the new battle of Greece on the 11th of April. Hungary joined the invasion on the 11th. By the 17th of April, the Yugoslavs had signed an armistice. And by the 30th of April, all of mainland Greece was under German or Italian control. On the 20th of May, Germany invaded Crete by air, and by the, the 1st of June, all remaining Greek and British forces on the island had surrendered. Although it had not participated in the attacks in April, Bulgaria occupied parts of both Yugoslavia and Greece shortly thereafter for the remainder of the war in the Balkans. The Italian invasion of Greece lasted from uh, October 28, 1942, uh, April 30th, 1941, of course, and that was a disastrous uh, event for uh, Italy itself. Um, but of course, they needed German help. Italian forces invaded Greece and made limited gains, but soon the Greeks counterattacked and the Italians were driven back to the Albanian border. The Italians spent much of the winter stabilizing a line which left them in control of only about two-thirds of Albania. A much-anticipated Italian offensive in March 1941 resulted in few territorial gains. Germany, led by, of course, Adolf Hitler, intervened in April and invaded Greece after the successful invasion of Yugoslavia. So we talked about Greece. I should have earlier talked also about Yugoslavia. I'm doing that now. So... On the 25th of March 1941, Yugoslavia joined the Axis and agreed to permit transit through its territory to German troops headed for Greece. The immediate reason for the Axis invasion of Yugoslavia was the Yugoslav government announced that it would not honor its obligations under the agreement. The debate over signing the Tripartite Pact um, that bound the, the Axis partners had bitterly divided the Yugoslav federal government. Prince Paul had pushed hard for it and had prevailed. The announcement of the agreement on the 25th of March was, ex was extremely unpopular in many parts of the country, particularly in Serbia and Montenegro. On March 27th, Serb military officers overthrew 
the regency, placed the 17-year-old King Peter on the throne and denounced the previous government's decision to join the Axis. Although the new Prime Minister, Colonel uh, Dusan Simovic, sought within days to re retract this statement, Hitler was furious and ordered the invasion of Yugoslavia on the evening of March 27th. The Axis invasion involving German, Italian, Hungarian, and Bulgarian military units commenced on April 6th, of course. Eleven days later, after the Semitic government and King Peter fled to London via Alexandria, Egypt, Yugoslavia surrendered to the Axis powers. Yugoslavia's military, nearly 800,000 men, uh, surrendered and what took the Germans 11 days to uh, defeat Yugoslavia. Of course, here are the um, the German, here's the German advance, uh, Romanian advance, Hungarian advance, and Bulgaria. And of course, Italy, and then through Greece. So the Germans invade. Now, of course, this is not the correct flag. Um, 700 and, 730, and sorry, 375,000 men. Um, 875 tanks and 740 armored vehicles. The Italians, of course, 22 divisions, 300,000 men, 100, vari 100 various tanks, 700 various aircraft, and that's what they had into the mix. The scholars had proposed several theories for the Royal Yugoslavian Army's sudden collapse, including poor training and equipment. Generals eager to secure a quick uh, cessation of hostilities and a sizable Croatian, um, Croatian, Slovenian, and German fifth column. The invasion ended with an armistice that was signed on the 17th of April 1941, based on the unconditional surrender of the Yugoslav army, which came into effect at noon on the 18th of April. Yugoslavia was then occupied and par partitioned um, by the by the Axis powers. Some areas of Yugoslavia were annexed by neighboring Axis countries. Some areas remained occupied, and in other uh, area, areas, Axis puppet states, such as the independent state of Croatia, Serbo-Croatian uh, Latin, uh, the NDH, NDH uh, were created during the invasion on 10th of April. So upon hearing the news uh, of the coup in Yugoslavia, going back to the beginning, Hitler called his military advisors to Berlin in 27th of March. On the same day at the coup d'etat, um, he issued Fear Directive 25, which called for Yugoslavia to be treated as a hostile state. Hitler took the coup as a personal insult and was so angered that he was determined, in his words, to destroy Yugoslavia militarily and as a state, and to do so with pitiless harshness and without waiting for possible declarations of loyalty of the new government. Hungary joined the Tripartet Pact on the 20th November 1940. On 12th December, it had concluded a treaty with Yugoslavia called, calling for permanent peace and internal friendship. The Hungarian leadership was split after Germany's War Directive 25 was uh, delivered on the 27th of March 1941. Regent Miklos Horthy and the military favored taking part in the invasion of Yugoslavia and mobilized the following day. Prime Minister Paul Teleski, Paul Teleki sought to prevent German troops passing through Hungary and incited the peace treaty with Yugoslavia as an impertinent to cooperation with the Germans. On the 1st of April, Yugoslavia redesignated its assault command as a Chetnik command named after Chetniks in occupied Serbia in 1916-1918. Serb guerrilla warfare, uh, gr Serb guerrilla forces from World War I, which had resisted the Central Powers. The command was intended to lead a guerrilla war if, a, if the country was occupied. Its headquarters was transferred from Nova Sad, Novi Sad to um, Kargevo, uh, Kragevo, sorry, in central South Central Serbia on the 1st of April. 
On the 2nd of April, the German ambassador having already been recalled for talks, the remaining embassy staff were ordered to leave uh, the capital and to warn the embassies of friendly nations to likewise evacuate. That sent the unmistakable message that Yugoslavia was about to be invaded. And here just another map of the, the divide afterward. On April 3rd, Hitler issued War Directive 26 detailing the plan of attack and command structure for the invasion, as well as promising Hungary territorial gains. The same day, Teleki killed himself. Horthy, seeking a compromise, informed Hitler that even that evening that Hungary would abide by the treaty, though it would likely cease to apply should Croatia secede and Yugoslavia cease to exist. Upon the proclamation of an independent state of Croatia in Zagreb on the 10th of April, this scenario was realized and Hungary joined the invasion, its army crossing through Yugoslavia the following day. The invasion commenced with an overwhelming air attack on Belgrade and facilities of the Royal Yugoslav Air Force VVJ, uh, VVKJ by the Luftwaffe and attacks by German land forces from southwestern Bulgaria. These attacks were followed by German thrusts from Romania, Hungary, and the Ostmark. Italian forces were limited to air and artillery attacks until 11th of April, when the Italian army attacked towards uh, Lubj uh, Lubjana in modern-day Slovenia and through Istra, Istria in Lyca and down the Dalmatian, the Dalmatian coast. On the same day, Hungarian forces entered Yugoslav Bacha and Baranya, but like the Italians, they faced practically no resistance. A Yugoslav attack into the northern parts of the Italian protectorate of Albania met with initial success, but was inconsequential due to the collapse of the rest of the Yugoslav forces. Scholars have promised, uh, proposed several theories for the Yugoslavian army's um, sudden collapse. Of course, and, and that was the poor training. And of course, um, this certainly was part of it in the inferiority in weapons. And of course, um, <clears throat> the overwhelming German uh, and uh, Italian forces certainly prevailed on that front on multiple um, numbers as well as training grounds. Along with Italy's stalled invasion of Greece on the 28th of October 1940 and the German-led invasion of Greece, Operation Marita, and the invasion of Crete, Operation Merkur, uh, the invasion of Yugoslavia was part of the German Balkan campaign, Balkan Fieldzung. The Axis powers partitioned Yugoslavia, of course. They exploited ethnic tensions to reinforce new territorial boundaries. Germany annexed northern and eastern Slovenia, occupied the Serb Benet, which had a significant ethnic German minority, and established a military occupation administration in Serbia proper, based in Belgrade. Italy annexed southern and eastern Slovenia, occupied the Yugoslav coastline along the Adriatic Sea, including Montenegro and the attached Kosovo Metoja, Metoheja uh, to Albania, which Italy had annexed in April 1939. And her aunt uh, Pevelik as Proglavic, uh, uh, Proglavnik sorry, leader, the Eustasa proclaimed an independent state of Croatia, sponsored by Germany and Italy, which annexed Bosnia Herzegovina. Despite the country's claim to be independent, Germany and Italy divided Croatia into zones of influence in which each stationed troops. Hungary annexed the Bakra and Berenja regions in northeastern Yugoslavia. Bulgaria occupied Macedonia and the tiny Serb province of Pirot. Conflicts in the policy and tactics of Germany 
and its Axis partners impacted directly upon the fate of the Jews living in Yugoslavia. And this is um, an example here. So in the order of the battle, um, the Axis order of battle for, for the invasion of Yugoslavia, of course, was made up of various operational formations of the German Wehrmacht and Waffen SS, Italian armed forces and Hungarian armed forces that participated in the invasion of Yugoslavia, and of course, which commenced on April 6th. It involved the German Second Army with elements of the 12th Army and a panzer group combined with overwhelming Luftwaffe support. And of course, eight, the 18 German divisions included five panzer divisions, two motorized infantry divisions, and two mountain divisions. The German force also included two well-equipped independent motorized regiments and was supported by over 800 aircraft. The Italian 2nd Army and 9th Army committed a total of 22 divisions and the Royal Italian Air Force, Regia Aeronautica, had over 650 aircraft available to support the invasion. The Hungarian 3rd Army also participated with the support of the Royal Hungarian Air Force, the MKHL. The Axis ground forces had effectively surrounded the Kingdom of Yugoslavia before the invasion began. The German 2nd Army consisted of one motorized, one mountain, and two infantry corps, was concentrated in southwestern Hungary and southeastern Austria, poised to drive south and east. One, one motorized corps of the German 12th Army was assembled near Sofia, Bulgaria, along with one motorized corps of the 1st Panzer Group, and these formations were assigned the task of striking the strongest Yugoslav formations stationed along the eastern border of the country. A further motorized corps was deployed near uh, Timisora in western Romania, ready to thrust south into the Banan region. The Italian 2nd Army consisted of one fast uh, Siller Corps, one motorized corps, and three infantry corps, was assembled in south, in, sorry, northeastern Italy, with the task of driving southeast down down the Dalmatian coast. The Italian Ninth Army, comprised two corps and the Sector Defense Command, was stationed in occupied northern Albania, and its stance was largely defensive. The Hungarian Third Army was concentrated along the Yugoslav border, largely between the Danube and, and the Tisza, uh, with the objective of seizing the Vacha and the, and the Baranja regions. German, Italian, and Hungarian air support was concentrated in Austria, Italy, southern Hungary, southern Romania, western Bulgaria, and Albania. In total, over 1,500 Axis aircraft were available to support the invasion. Naval forces were limited to a few destroyers of the Royal, Arte Royal, sorry, Royal Italian Navy, Regia Marina, operating in the Adriatic Sea. The invasion was spearheaded by the German 2nd Army with elements of the 12th Army, 1st Panzer Group, and an independent Panzer Corps combined with overwhelming Luftwaffe support. The 19 German divisions included five Panzer divisions two motorized infantry divisions, and two mountain divisions. The German force also included three well-equipped independent motorized infantry regiments and was supported by over 750 aircraft. The Italian 2nd Army and the 9th Army committed a total of 22 divisions and 666 aircraft to the operation. The Hungarian 3rd Army also participated in the invasion, with support available with over 500 aircraft. During the April War, the Führer Headquarters FHQ was codenamed Fraulingsturm, Spring Storm, and consisted of the Führer Sonderzug Special Führer's uh, Train, codenamed America, stationed in Monikirchen. Alongside, alongside the Special Train Atlas of the Armed Forces Operations Staff, W. 
FST. Atlas did not arrive at uh, Morning Curtain until April 11th, well after operations were underway, and America only arrived the following day. Morning Curtain was chosen because a nearby rail tunnel could provide shelter in the event of air attack. Both trains returned to Berlin on 26th of April. After the Italian invasion in the northwest began, King Victor Emmanuel III moved to a villa owned by the uh, Brazio uh, Biroli family at at Brazaco near Marzero, uh, Maruzo, sorry, in order to be close to the front. Germany attacked Yugoslavia from bases in three countries beside itself, and of course, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria. German troops entered each of these countries uh, under different pretenses and at different times. The first country to re receive a German military mission was Romania. Ostensibly to train the Romanian armed forces, its real purpose was to protect Romania's petroleum reserves and resources uh, to prepare for an attack on the Soviet Union. The Wehrmacht entered Bulgaria more uh, circumspectly, first with the intention of providing aerial defense against any force attacking Romania's oil fields, and later with that of invading Greece in support of Italy. German troops did not enter Hungary until the attack on Yugoslavia was already planned, and Hungary's participation had been secured. Deployment in Bulgaria the two events in early November 1940 convinced Hitler of the need to station troops, especially the Luftwaffe, in Bulgaria. The first was false reports that the British were constructing an airfield in Lennos from which they could bomb um, Ploiesti. The second was the beginning of British air raids originating from Greek bases against Italian shipping on the 6th of November. Planning for the German invasion of Greece from Bulgaria began on, of course, November 12th. Already on 13th November, the Soviets were incorrectly uh, accusing the Germans of having troops in neutral Bulgaria. On 18th of November, Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria met with Hitler and promised to participate in an attack on Greece, but only at the last moment. Shortly thereafter, a secret German team under Colonel Kurt Zelscher, entered Bulgaria to establish field depots, arrange for troops, building, and scout the terrain. They were soon followed by hundreds of Luftwaffe personnel to establish air observation stations. By the end of December, over a thousand German troops in civilian clothing were active in Bulgaria. Although the although the later's government continued to deny it. Bombers and dive bombers were also gradually moving into Bulgaria, beginning in November. By the end of March 1941, the Luftwaffe had 355 aircraft in the country. Here's a German Panzer IV of the 11th Panzer Division advancing into Yugoslavia um, from Bulgaria as part of the 12th Army. On the 17th of February 1941, Bulgaria signed a non-aggression pact with Turkey, paving the way for a, its adherence to the Tripartite Pact, the Axis Pact, which was signed by Prime Minister uh, Bogdan Filov in Vien and, uh, Vienna on the 1st of March, when Ivan V. Petrov, member of the National Assembly of Lebanet, uh, Leb Leblenitsa, sorry, um, asked why the Assembly had not been consulted. Filov pointed out that the constitution only required parliamentary approval prior to ratification. The signing uh, was ratified by a vote in the assembly of 140 to 20. The German, the first German troops crossed the Danube from Romania on 28th of February, a day before Bulgaria joined the pact. <clears throat> the greater part of the 12th Army augmented by um, the 8th Flagger Corps across the Danube on the 2nd of March. They were welcomed by the Russophile population. 
<clears throat> who believed that Germany and the Soviet Union were allies. The 12th Army was originally deployed solely for an attack on Greece. After receiving Directive Number 25, which projected an invasion of Yugoslavia in the direction of Belgrade on the 8th of April, the force was redeployed in three groups, one along the Turkish border, one along the Greek border, and one along the Yugoslav border. Motorized uh, transport was brought in from Romania to achieve this feat in a few days. So from the Hungarian perspective, although German troops had been refused the right to transit Hungary for the invasion of Poland in 1939, they were permitted to pass through Hungary as civilians on their way to Romania in 1940. In September 1940, the Hungarian um, legation in, uh, in Berlin had granted for over 6,500 transit visas to Germans traveling to Romania. On the 30th of September, shortly after the signing of the Tripartite Pact, Ribbentrop and General Cadel, General, General Cadel, asked the Hungarian Foreign Minister Isfran Kaski, who was in Vienna, to grant the Germans use of transit uh, facilities for German military uh, study groups to pass through to Romania. They were still awaiting final confirmation on 3rd of October. The arrangement agreed was that six trains would pass through Hungary at night carrying German soldiers in sealed cars. They would not be allowed out, and they would not have any rail transportation officers, RTOs, or supply officers with them. And this is the Hungarian flag time. So after um, Hungarian uh, Prime Minister Teleki committed suicide, this new right-wing uh, Leslo um, Bardossi, it succeeded him as Prime Minister, and this is uh, Bardassi here with Adolf Hitler. According to uh, Georgi Barksa, the Hungarian ambassador in London, answering the British government's uh, query, it was Romania that had made uh, the request. In his notes, Barksa indicated that the British had declared that if Hungary were to permit German troops to pass through the Hungarian territory against Yugoslavia, Britain would break off diplomatic relations, indeed might declare war on us. <clears throat> the German, the first German troops began their passage through Hungary on the 8th of October. Despite some official denial, the troop movements were reported by Reuters, um, and the American ambassador received a full report. According to contemporary British intelligence, three divisions had passed through Hungary to Romania, but 2nd November. On 20th November, Hungarian Prime Minister Paolo Teleki signed the Tripartite Pact after a meeting with Hitler in Birch's Garden. At the meeting, Hitler spoke of his intention to aid Italy against Greece, thereby uh, preparing the Hungarians for future demands. And here's the coat of arms, and here's the Royal Hungarian Army. So this is done here. This here is before uh, Teleki commits suicide. And, of course, this new guy, uh, Bardossi, uh, which you saw in the picture there last, it takes over and is certainly alongside Adolf Hitler and anything that they do. Um, so here's, the, uh, of course, the Hungarian army. You can see uh, Machado Otto Beretta, like the Italian uh, Mab, uh, 3840, um, submachine guns, uh, Machado Otto Beretta 38s, uh, different weapon systems of the... Um, Hungarian army in the in the Second World War here. So Hungary, when the Hungarians entered the war as part of the Axis in '41, it was not through some uh, desire to be part of uh, Hitler's vision of a new Europe, but for their own, very own regional and territorial motives. They want they had their own motives, of course, like the Germans and Austrians. The Hungarians had been severely punished for their role in the First World War. They lost much territory to their neighbors, Czechoslovakia, Romania, and Yugoslavia. Under the rule of Regent Admiral uh, Horthy, they began to regain some of their territory. The first Vienna Award in 1938 returned parts of uh, Slovakia and Ruthenia. Their next opportunity to regain territory came from the Germ with the German invasion of Czechoslovakia in 1939. Um, 
<clears throat> with German approval, they were able to take the rest of uh, Ruthenia. It was during 1939 that the Hungarians saw their first combat of the war. Border guards throwing back attacks from the Czechs around uh, Munkax before advancing themselves and taking the town of Orhegjelzia. Here's, of course, the map of Hungary here. Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Yugoslavia. And these are all, and of course, Romania. These are all countries part of the, after the Second World War, of course, the Iron Curtain, which, uh, and in the Warsaw Pact, which is created in 1954, I believe it is. Um, so this here, certainly, these countries have, uh, are about to and will, through the war years and afterward, see their fair share of suffering. Early, uh, this early campaign showed there was still improvement required to overcome the difficulties imposed on the Hungarian army after the First World War. But Hungarians showed high morale and national spirit during this short campaign. After much uh, towing and froing with the Germans over Sol uh, Slovakia, Hungary's northern border was finally set by 1940. But Hungary's relationship with Germany continued to be stormy. Hungary refused the Germans' permission to cross its territories during the 1939 Polish campaign. Hungary also had territorial issues to resolve on their southern and western borders with Yugoslavia and Romania. Hungary mobilized two armies in 1940 just in case the Romanians were unwilling to accept a territorial agreement. But in August they did. This, in large parts of Transylvania, um, were given to Hungary under the second Vienna Award. Conflict was avoided. In November 1940, Hungary signed the Tripartite Pact with Italy and Germany. But it was not with, so with the annexation of Banat, the, ter the traditional Hungarian border zone with Yugoslavia. With Hitler's invasion launched in 1941 against Yugoslavia, the Hungarians saw another opportunity to regain some territory. Though they broke their eternal friendship treaty in the process, the whole third Hungarian army of just under 400,000 men was mobilized and moved to Benat, into Benat province in Bas and Baksa, Baksa, sorry, on uh, April 11th. Right, April 14th, the whole of Baxica uh, was in Hungarian hands. Fighting had been light, with Serbian units retreating before the Hungarians and Croatian units of the old Yugoslavian army, choosing to surrender instead. On the 13th of December 1940, the day after the Hungaro-Yugoslav non-aggression pact, and the day uh, Hishu, uh, sorry, the day Hitler issued Führer Directive Number 20, major German troop movements began. The Germans had initially promised to supply 180 locomotives for the transfers, but later the Hungarians were complaining that only 130 had arrived. On, 24, on the 24th of December, it's Van Horthy, president of Hungarian State Railways, HSR, demanded negotiations before implementing requested German increases. but. Ambassador Otto von Iden Erdmannsdorf informed him that it had all been settled in Vienna by Cato and Kaski. Exactly, uh, sorry. The German traffic was so large that on the 20th of December, the HSR had to suspend travel on all of its, its trains for several days on account of a shortage of coal. Hungarian officials tried to meet all German demands without going further than the government uh, had agreed. Even sabotage was used on occasion to prevent having to give the Germans more support than required. On 18th of January 1941, an agreement was reached to store German supplies in Hungarian warehouses under Hungarian guard, with only a German officer in Budapest to serve as a liaison liaison. 
these supplies were to be used in the campaign against Greece. On the 27th of March 1941, Hitler informed the Hungarian ambassador, Dom uh, Sotolskje, and gave an official proposal to Hungary for participation in the attack on Yugoslavia. Hitler confidentially told uh, Miklos Horthy that Germany fully recognizes the Hungarian territorial claims in relation um, to Yugoslavia and that he can take uh, Becca and Benat and added, uh, take as much as you want. Horthy mostly agreed and accepted Hitler's suggestions. A Hungarian response was uh, hammered out in council and delivered the following day, on the 28th of March. On the 30th of March, General Friedrich Paulus arrived in Budapest and met with Hernik Wirth, Henrik, Wirth, Henrik Wirth, chief of the Hungarian general staff and Major General Lezo Desio. The Hungarians proposed they mobilize five divisions for the attack on Yugoslavia. Two were to be held in reserve, while the fifth, uh, sorry, first, fifth, and mobile corps were to conduct the main attack on Zabodica, Zabodska, Zabedka, or Zabedka, with a secondary operation east of the river uh, Testa. Because of Romania's request that Hungarian troops not operate in the Benat, Paulus modified the Hungarian plan and kept their troops west of the Testa. This f final plan was put down in map form, according to Paulus's account, and much must have been a telephone to Berlin, immediately so as to make uh, into uh, operational order number 25, issued by Walter von Brauschitz this that same day. <clears throat> the final plan committed one Hungarian corps of thir three brigades west of the Danube, from Lake Balaton to Barks, and twelve brigades, nine on the front and three in reserve, for an offensive in, in Baca. The Danube flotilla uh, was to cover the flanks, and the Air Force was to stand by for orders. The Carpathian group, com uh, composed of Eighth Corps, of the 8th Corps, the 1st Mountain Brigade, and the 8th Border Guard, uh, Chassar Brigade, were, was mobilized on the, the Soviet border with the Mobile Corps held in reserve. These arrangements were uh, agreed by to by Worth. He later claimed on the basis of the author, uh, authorization received on 28th of April, although this was not the government's view of what had been authorized, Worth applied for for permission to mobilize on the 1st of April, since a mobilization order had to be approved by the cabinet and issued by the region over the uh, signature of the Minister of Defense. Worth expected the Germans to begin operations with the use of Hungarian territory and communications. On the 12th of April, and the Hungarians, uh, on, that was on the 12th of April, and the Hungarians to complete mobilization by 6th of April and begin their offensive on the 15th. A meeting of the Supreme Defense Council was convened on 1st of April to discuss for its request. After a long debate, it approved his mobilization plan, but refused to place Hungarian troops under German command and restricted Hungarian operations to the occupation of territory abandoned by the Yugoslavs. On 2nd of April, Germany responded uh, that the Paulus Worth Agreement was final, and German staff officers began arriving in Budapest that same day. That same day, the British informed Hungary that she would be treated as an enemy state if Germany made use of her territory or facilities in an attack on Yugoslavia. In the morning of the 3rd of April, Paul Tilecki committed suicide. The region immediately cancelled the mobilization order uh, already given except for the border guard and the mobile corps, which prompted Worth to resign. Horthy then authorized the mobilization of the 4th and 5th Corps and the Mountain Brigade, and Worth withdrew his resignation. This occurred so late in the day that zero hour 
uh, for mobilization to begin was given as midnight of the 5th of April. In the morning of the 3rd of April, the German units, including tanks and aircraft bound for Romania, passed openly through Budapest. So they are ready. They're going in to attack. The, the deployment in Italy, so the Italian 2nd Army and the 9th Army committed a total of 22 divisions to the operation. That's about 300,000 troops, right? The Italian 2nd Army, 2nd um, Armata, was commanded by General uh, Designato de Armata, Acting General Vittorio Embarossio, and consisted of one fast corps, one motorized corps, uh, and three infantry corps, and was assembled in northeastern Italy by, um, and that, of course, attacking from Istria and, and the Julian March along the border with Slovenia and Croatia. The second army was supported by a motorized engineer regiment, including three um, bridging battalions, a chemical battalion, 15 territorial battalions, and two garrison battalions. Fifth Corps support units included three motorized artillery regiments comprising 13 battalions, four machine gun battalions, two motorized, and two pack animal battalions, three blackshirt legions of battalion size, a motorized anti-aircraft battalion, a separate assault battalion, and a road construction battalion. Sixth Corps included four motorized artillery regiments with a total of 16 battalions, two machine gun battalions, one motorized, one pack animal, and motorized anti-aircraft regiment. The 11th Corps included one motorized artillery regiment comprised of four battalions, three machine gun battalions, one motorized, one pack animal, and one uh, static, and six blackshirt legions of battalion size. The motorized corps was supported by a motorized artillery regiment consisting of three battalions, and a motorized engineer battalion. In Albania, elements of the Italian 9th Army that were involved in the campaign were commanded by General de Amara, General Alessandro uh, Pizza, Brazeo, uh Baroli, sorry, yeah, Italian names, and consisted of two infantry corps and some sector troops assembled in northern Albania. Anyway, you, you get the idea. You get the idea. Um, there's a lot more I could say about that, but you get the idea. 300,000 men, is a, it's a large amount of operations and a large, large amount of logistics and men involved. So this operation, um, overall, the operation would secure Germany's Balkan flank for the planned invasion of the Soviet Union, scheduled for spring of 1941 and safeguard its Romanian oil supplies from possible Allied air attack. Possession of the Southern Balkans, commanded as they did the Eastern Mediterranean, would also allow Germany to attack British lines of communications with the East. And that's including uh, if they have control of Greece, Athens, of course, and the capital, and then Crete as well. So... The Yugoslavian army. Other than a board of skirmish or two in the 1920s, the army didn't fire a shot in anger during the interwar period. So they had very little experience of actual combat. However, there are times in the 1930s when war was entirely possible. It is these potential conflicts that caught my attention in recent reading uh, of this person that wrote this, the different readings in, from the 30s. The, VJ, uh, the VKJ was a large army, comprising some 800,000 to 900,000 soldiers after mobilization. In 1935, they were organized into 24 infantry, one guard, two alpine, and three cavalry divisions. This grew to 1.4 million men in 34 divisions by 1939. However, these numbers um, actually hide the multitude of problems that they had, uh, out-of-date equipment, um, of course, uh, lax in training, uh, out of date training, and of course, mechanization was very limited, which is what Germany had all of those. The, the Wehrmacht had all of those. Blitzkrieg had proved that what they've been doing for the last two years, invading country after country, 
a defeat of France, uh, almost a defeat of Great Britain, even a defeat of uh, um, even for, for all the way from the start since uh, Poland Blitzkrieg had proven time and time again to work. And of course, the British were still fighting in North Africa and back and forth against Rommel. So this mechanization training and having soldiers cross trained was what Germany was mastering and mechanization modern equipment military equipment that and mechanization and tactics of uh, collaboration and workings of the army working with the Luftwaffe um, working together uh, on this size had never been seen before in this uh, this training cross-trained and crossed um, crossing ability um, of the German army of course uh, the even as a large army the Yugoslav armed forces were no match um, of course the mechanization being very limited with the Yugoslav army at the time the country's infrastructure particularly bridges meant that only light tanks were practical there were a handful of World War I vintage French uh, FT-17 tanks supplemented by Skoda tankettes. Uh, that's our Czechoslovakian tanks. Um, later, 54 new French Renault R-35 tanks and eight Czech um, SD, uh, sorry, SID tank destroyers arrived to create um, two tank battalions. With limited civilian mechanization, there would have been uh, skill shortages, even if the resources were available to do more. Um, the limited large-scale maneuvers highlighted command and equipment shortages. In 1936, the British military attaché reported shortfalls in the basic kit, including steel helmets, gas masks, tents, small arms ammunition, general officers, and had not uh, commanded formations larger than a division in the field, so lack of uh, overall command experience and structure. Um, some modern weapons were purchased primarily from Czech suppliers. Um, these included mountain guns, howitzers, field and flak, and uh, modern anti-tank guns. But the army uh, was also reasonably well supplied with light machine guns and mortars. However, the German Occupation of Czechoslovakia after the Munich Agreement curtailed this source of modern weapons. And then, of course, they, if they break down, they can't get parts. So, and uh, training and equipping them, uh, even upgrading them, is not possible. Um, and, of course, it becomes a... And the Skoda arms goes to German, um, of course, to under German control. Here is, of course, the um, Yugoslavian army of 1939-1940-41 in that era. The main rifle, of course, that they had um, is, the, of course, the Mauser model 1924. Uh, of course, it was 7.92. It's the uh, same round um, as the, I believe it's the same round as, of course, the, the Car 98, which is 7.92 times 57. So... <clears throat> they had, uh, you know, the model 20, the M1924 is what it's called. It's, um, and they had numbers of these built, but of course, the, they used a number of weapons from different countries. Uh, and that being one of their main rifles. In this one, this design is actually, you know, um, place of origin. Uh, some of these, uh, the the FN Model 24 series, uh, one of Mauser, uh, the Gewehr 98s, these are actually Belgium, um, produced by Belgian Fabrique Nationale. Um, they're very similar to the Czech designed VZ 24 rifle. Um, so, yeah, five round internal magazine, just as the, like the Car 98, uh, and, uh, and, uh, you know, just similar to the, Ru like the Russian design, um, Mosin-Nagin 1891, and so on. The Air Force, the uh, K, sorry, the JKRV had similar problems. In 1935, it could muster around 600 aircraft, mostly of French design. The main types were the Bergerot 19 and Potez 25. More modern aircraft were being purchased and produced 
locally under license, including the uh, IK-3 monopl monoplane fighter. And, but by 1941, the, the uh, JKRV had 11 different types of operational aircraft, including the ME-109, DO-17, SM-79, and Hurricanes, even. And the Hurricanes, British design aircraft, of course, uh, largely in the Second World War, they are, of course, very famous aircraft, very well developed. And, for example, the DO-17K was a German aircraft with French engines, Czech cameras, um, Belgian guns, and Yugoslav instruments. <clears throat> you would not want to be a quartermaster in this air force. It seems so. The long Adriatic coastline um, created particular um, problems for the Navy in addition to the uh, Italian enclaves like Zara at Zadar, it suffered from a lack of interest in the early years given uh, Serbian control of the armed forces. By 936, modern vessels were arriving, uh, beginning uh, the strength, bringing the strength up to uh, 27 surface combatants and four submarines. This grew to 41 ships in 1941, including a light cruiser, three destroyers, and 10 MBTs. There was also a small naval aviation force of about 40 aircraft in 1936, which increased to 120 by April 1941. The biggest problem facing the army was morale. The Serban uh, Serbianization of the military meant the general staff was 90% Serb, with only a handful of Croat or Slovene general officers. Ethnic divisions created political instability during the, the period, and this also impacted the army. Many Croat and Slovene divisions failed to respond to the motor mobilization in 1941, and others uh, surrendered almost immediately once the German invasion started. So Italy had not been given all the territory it had pro been promised in the secret treaty um, of London, and Mussolini uh, coveted more of the uh, Dalmatian coast. The main border was in uh, 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 Lystria, opposite Slovenia and Croatia. There were also significant Italian garrisons in the Zara enclave and in Albania. So Mussolini really uh, had territorial gains, uh, certainly in Yugoslavia very much so as well. Um, Mussolini financed and supported Croatian separatism in the 1920s and 30s. And the Croats are supported by the Germans and, will, and the, the Croat puppet government will, once the Germans are in control, uh, they are going to, many Serbs are executed, mass murders take place, especially Jews, um, other ethnic minorities, and certainly this uh, creates and continues to create much um, political and ethnic uh, distrust and, and hatred between uh, you know Serbia and Croatia up through after you know and even in, up to the 90s and through the 90s through the, the Bosnian War and that was partly due to some of this. Um, this included the uh, Velibit uprising in September 1932 when arms were smuggled to the uh, Ustase separatists through Zara. Bulgaria and Serbia had fought a series of wars in the 19th and early 20th centuries. The main territorial dispute was over Macedonia, and Bulgaria stoked resistance by supporting the internal Macedonian revolutionary organization. Hungary was another border concern as the Hungarian um, revisionists campaigned, campa campaigned for the recovery of territory with a large Hungarian population. The Hungarian and Czech states went to war in 1938 over such claims. In Yugoslavia, the uh, revisionists targeted uh, Vojvodina, which had a 28 Hungarian population and another 21% were German, leaving 40% Serbs and Croats. So again, a lot of, uh, it seems almost like the Middle East, but this is Europe and this is uh, the Balkans and of course there's a lot of land um, 
grabs that are you know land territory that's believed to be of course you know hungarian um you know and of course and versus czech and then of course um the hungarians are allied with germany so that's going to go into their favor up until 1944. yugoslavian foreign policy was aimed at securing their borders a treaty in 1921 with romania and czechoslovakia uh, countered the Hungarians. In 1934, King Alexander brought Greece, Romania, and Turkey together in a Balkan intent. The assassination of King Alexander on the 9th of October 1934 uh, in Marseille uh, was carried out by an IMRO activist supported by two Eustace exiles. The assassins had been trained and armed in Hungary and frequently telephoned Eustace leader Ente uh, Pavelic, who was living in Italy. So this is all setting up for this, what's about to happen here um, and what is, is to come inside Yugoslavia and that, those territories. The French and British were trying to create an anti-German alliance with Italy and Yugoslavia, so played down the Italian involvement in the assassination. Mussolini was not interested in such an alliance and hoped Alexander's death would lead to civil war in Yugoslavia. As Alexander's son Peter was still a minor, his brother Paul became regent. France was Yugoslavia's main um, significant power ally. Following a secret military pact in 1927, Paul was close to Britain, having been educated there. He was at Oxford University with Anthony Eden. The French had re-equipped the army in, 19, in uh, World War I and continued to support the armed forces. However, Yugoslavia was low on the French and British priorities. And of course, during this time, and France had been had capitula capitulated in 1940. That was certainly the case as far as equipment and, uh, and military um, su supplies and support. And British priorities had either... Um, had, of course, they had either low on their priorities and either power's ability to mil militarily support Yugoslavia at a time of war was, uh, of course, as I mentioned, just very limited. So the Yugoslav army had consisted of more than 33 divisions, uh, Serbia, Croatian, um, and of course, all and four air brigades, Royal Yugoslavian Air Force, more than 400 aircraft. A small Yugoslav Navy, centered around four destroyers and four submarines based on the Adriatic coast and some river uh, monitors in the, on the Danube. So most of their transport was animal powered and uh, only partly mobilized at the time of invasion. They had maybe 50 tanks, the R-35s, and, and, uh, and that could invade, engage German tanks uh, on an equal basis. I mean, that's the R-35s there. Uh, and they had equipped, you know, equipped with a, a range of aircraft, Yugoslavian, German, Italian, and French. And that was less than 120 modern aircraft, is that, like I've mentioned. So here's the Ronald, the R-35 R tank, of course, the Yugoslav army. And so there were 33 divisions, uh, 31, 33 divisions, and 35 independent regiments, you know. Uh, young King Peter II here in the picture. Of the independent regiments, 16 were uh, in frontal fortifications and 19 were organized as combined regiments, or Audred, Audred, around the size of a reinforced brigade. So the German attack, uh, however, caught the army still mobilizing, even though they had a large force. You know, they had um, a large force of men that ill-prepared, ill-trained. And only some 11 divisions were in their planned defense positions at the, at the start of the invasion. The Yugoslavs uh, had delayed full mobilization until the 3rd of April in order to not to provoke Hitler. Of course, he was already invading the country. The units were filled to between 70 to 90 percent of their strength as mobilization was not completed. And about, you know, up to 1.4 million men. And in, in even, you know, less than 120 modern aircraft, I see BF-109s here. Um, 
the VVKJ had a strength of uh, 1,875 officers and 29,000 other ranks, uh, you know, and that's the Air Force. And some 2,000 pilots uh, had over 400, well, they say 400, up to 600 aircraft. So their, uh, their army was organized into three uh, army groups and a coastal defense corps. But the third army group was the strongest with the third and third territorial and fifth and sixth armies defending the borders with Romania, Bulgaria, and Albania. The second army group with the first and second armies defended the region between the Iron Gates and the Dev and the Rava River. The first army group with the fourth and sixth or fourth and seventh armies composed mainly of Croatian troops and was in Croatia and Slovenia defending the Italian, German, Austrian, and Hungarian frontiers. The strength of each army amounted to a little more than a core with the army groups consisting of the units. Um, so in a core, regularly, you're looking at 30 to 50,000 men. Okay, so that's the amount. And of course, a field army is uh, 100 to 300,000 men. And so and that's, of course, so in a core is usually typical lieutenant general at least th these are in today's standards so um this is a good slideshow of just of uh the april war here and then uh beyond the problems of inadequate equipment and incomplete mobilization the yugoslav army suffered badly from this serbo croatian as uh, schism in, in yugoslav politics the yugoslav resistance to the invasion collapsed overnight the main reason was that none of the subordinate national groups, including Slovenes and Croats, were prepared to fight in defense of a Serbian uh, Yugoslavia. Also, so that the Slovenes did not feel abandoned, defenses were built on Yugoslavia's northern border, which the, when the nat natural line of defense was much further south, based on the rivers Sava and Drina. The only effective opposition to the invasion was from wholly Serbian units within the borders of Serbia itself. The Germans thrusting northwest from uh, Skopje uh, were held up in uh, Kikanic Pass and lost several tanks, of course, so... Um, in its worst uh, expression, Yugoslavia's defenses were bad, badly compromised on the 10th of April 1941, when some of the units in the Croatian men 4th and 7th armies mutinied, and a newly formed Croatian government hailed the uh, entry of the Germans into Zagreb the same day. The Serbian general staff were united on the question of Yugoslavia as a greater Serbia ruled in one way or another by Serbia. On the eve of the invasion, there were 165 generals on the Yugoslav active list. Of these, all but four were Serbs. As you can see why the, finally, the Croats want their own state and the hatred back and forth continues in the politics. It certainly, it turns to hatred after, of course, the, the, the uh, Croats and the, and the pro-German uh, government um, is mass is be, will begin massacring Serbs and and as well as Jews and many others. The professors and others uh, divided um, th this in invasion into two main phases. Here is what it's seen. The first phase encompasses the Luftwaffe's devastating air assault on Belgrade and airfields of the Royal Yugoslav Air Force of the 6th of April, and an initial thrust of the German 40th Panzer Corps from Bulgaria towards uh, Skopje um, that commenced the same day. This was followed by the assault of the German 14th Panzer Corps from Bulgaria towards Nice on the 8th of April. On the 10th of April, four more thrusts struck the Yugoslav army. 44th Panzer Corps, uh, 41st Panzer Corps from Romania towards Belgrade, the 46th Panzer Corps from Hungary across the Drava, and 51st Infantry Corps from Austria uh, towards Zagreb, and the 49th Mountain Corps from Austria towards uh, Selge. 
By the end of the, that day, the Yugoslav army was disintegrating and was in retreat or surrendering right across the country, with the exception of the forces on the Albanian frontier. Italy and Hungary joined the ground offensive on the 11th of April. The Italian part uh, in the ground offensive began when the Second Army attacked from northeastern Italy towards Lobjena and down the Dalmatian coast, meeting virtually no resistance. On the same day, the Hungarian Third Army crossed the Yugoslav border and advanced toward Nova, Novi Sad. But like the Italians, they met no serious resistance. On the 12th of April, the German troops captured Belgrade. Ljubljana fell to the Italians. On 14th and 15th of April, Peter, King Peter and the government flew out of the country, and the Yugoslav Supreme Command was captured by the Germans near Sarajevo. The surrender was signed on the 17th of April and came into effect at noon on the 18th of April. And here's a bigger picture of uh, what I've just talked about, the Hungarian Third Army. So, and then here, at the 51st, and then, of course, the 49th, and then 46th, German Third Armored, or German Second Armored, or Second Infantry, rather. Second Infantry, and... Um, Hitler's uh, Hitler's HQ here, and <clears throat> here is the 46 Panzer Corps coming in down right here, meeting the Yugoslav 4th, the Yugoslav 7th, the 1st, and of course the Defense Command. This is the whole map here. So, and of course you can see, oh yes, the Italians coming in through here. That's the Italians. <clears throat> That's the German infantry. Uh, limited objective attacks. Down and through here. Okay, here's the first panzer group here. So you can see where exactly what I'm talking about. The Hungarians are through here. That's the Hungarian third armor. Here's the 41st uh, Panzer Corps here, moving on this elite Yugoslav 6th Army. So for Serbia, in April 1941, Germany established a military occupation administration in Serbia and an indigenous administration and police force nominally supervised by a puppet Serb government under former Yugoslav General Milan Nedek. German military and police authorities interned most Jews and Roma gypsies in detention camps during the summer of 1941. Topovsk, uh, Sip, uh, Topovsk, uh, Dantin, uh, Sebek, Nis, and later uh, Simlin, uh, Sajmist, across the border in Croatia, of course, uh, those are areas in detention camps and that in areas in Croatia, of course, under their control. By the end of summer, an uprising based in Serbia and Bosnia and initiated uh, by the end of summer, there, there was an uprising and initiated by the communist led partition government and by the Serb nationalist uh, Ketnik movement, uh, so Chetnik movement uh, of Draza Mikhailovich had inflicted serious casualties upon German military and police personnel. Hitler ordered that for every German death, including those of ethnic Germans in Serbia and in Banat, German authorities were to shoot a hundred hostages. During the summer of 1941 um, and autumn of 1941, German military and police units used this order as a pretext to shoot virtually all male Serb Jews, approximately 8,000 persons, approximately 2,000 actual and perceived communists, Serb nationalists, and democratic uh, politicians of the interwar era, and approximately 1,000 male Roma. The German security police uh, round up Jewish women and children and in 
uh, incarcerated them in the uh, Semlin detention camp in the autumn of 1941. So in the winter of 1942, the Reich uh, Center Office for Security sent a gas van, a truck with a uh, hermetically sealed compartment that served as a gas chamber to Belgrade. And that's the first, and this is the start of the uh, the Holocaust and the final solution of the of of Jews in the, but not just Jews, communists, uh, Romani people, absolutely terrible. By the summer of uh, at least 1942, mostly 1942, most Jews there was hardly any Jews left in Serbia, they unless they were with partisan units fighting the Germans. In Croatia, so in the so-called independent state of Croatia, the Ustasa leadership instituted a reign of chaotic terror so extensive that German and Italian troops essentially had to administer uh, the countryside. The Ustasa regime murdered or expelled hundreds of thousands of Serbs residing in its territory. In rural areas, Croatian military units and Ustasi mili uh, militia buried up. Uh, they burned down entire Serbian villages and killed inhabitants, frequently torturing men and raping women. In all, Croat authorities killed between 320,000 and 340,000 ethnic Serbs in Croatia and Bosnia Herzegovina between 1941 and 1942. By the end of 1941, Croat authorities had incarcerated about two-thirds of, of approximately 32,000 Jews of Croatia in camps throughout the country. Jedovno, uh, Jed, Krasinska, Lobograd, Jakovo, Tenj, Osijek, and Jasonovic. The Ustasa murdered between 12 and 20,000 Jews in the Jesenovic system of camps located roughly 60 miles from the Croat capital, Zagreb, in two operations, August 1942 and May 1943, and we're getting ahead a bit, but that's okay. Um, Croatian authorities transferred about 7,000 Jews into German custody. The, German, uh, the Germans deported these Jews to Auschwitz-Birkenau, approximately 3,000 Croat Jews evaded these deportations largely because they were exempt from the deportations due to intermarriage or other reasons or because they managed to flee to the Italian occupied zone of Yugoslavia. There will be more about that. Uh, more of that is later on in the war. There's more, a lot more stuff that happens with the Jews in mass murders in collaboration uh, with Yugoslavs and Germans as well. A lot of Croat, the Croatic uh, independent state. Now we're going to shift to uh, Operation Retribution. Also known as Operation Punishment was the code name used for the German bombing of Belgrade, the capital of the Kingdom of Yugoslavia, in April 1941. The operation commenced on the 6th of April and concluded on the 10th of April, resulting in uh, paralysis of Yugoslavian civilian and military command and control widespread destruction largely uh, in the center of the city and significant civilian casualties. The bombing of Belgrade was combined with air attacks on a large number of Royal Yugoslavian Air Force airfields and other strategic targets across Yugoslavia. The commencement of the bombing uh, coincided with the German-led Axis invasion of Yugoslavia as well on the ground. Um, which resulted in the surrender of Yugoslav forces on the 17th of April. And this is some of the devastation pictures here. Hitler decided that Belgrade would be bombed in retribution for the coup against the government that had signed the pact. In order to carry out Hitler's orders on the 27th and 28th of March 1941, Reich Marshal Hermann Göring transferred about um, 500 fighter and bomber aircraft from France and northern Germany. The commander of the Luftflot, uh, the fourth General Oberst, General Alexander Lohr, uh, Lohr, allocated these aircraft to attack the Yugoslav capital in waves 
by day and night. War uh, issued his orders for the bombing on the 31st of March. But the decision to bomb Belgrade was not confirmed by Hitler until 5th of April. Although Hitler ordered the general destruction of Belgrade, Lohr replaced uh, these general directions with specific military objectives at the last minute. On 6th of April, a massive air attack was unleashed on Belgrade, and every airfield and installation of the Royal Yugoslav Air Force without a de declaration of war. Bombers and dive bombers dropped 215 to 360 long tons, um, up to 403 short tons of bombs and incendiaries on the capital. The Luftwaffe units involved were commanded by Flagakors 8 and included um, Kampf Schwed Kampfjager bomber wings four, or sorry, two, four, and fifty-one, and tr Sturmkampfjagers, uh, Sturmkamp Gerstwagers dive bomber wing um, seventy-seven, with protection provided by the uh, Jag Gerstwager fifty-fourth uh, fighter wing. Near some of the uh, pictures from the bombers uh, above Belgrade. The assault consisted of between 150 to 234 bombers and dive bombers escorted by 120 fighter aircraft. Descended on Belgrade at 0700 hours. In response, the Royal Yugoslavian Air Force scrambled 20 Messerschmitt BF 109s, 18 Hawker Hurricanes, and six locally manufactured Rogozarski uh, IK 3 fighter aircraft. Some Yugoslavian Hurricane pilots engaged uh, in frequently um, engaged friendly BF 109s as well, well as attacking Luftwaffe aircraft. About 50 Yugoslavian aircraft were destroyed by the first wave of, of strikes. Later that day, three additional waves of German aircraft hit Belgrade, each consisting of about 100 aircraft. Bombing continued on the 7th of April. The weak Royal Yugoslavian Air Force and inadequate anti-aircraft defenses of Belgrade briefly attempted to meet the overwhelming Luftwaffe assault, but were eliminated as threats during the first wave of the attack. Sources vary regarding the success achieved by the defenders. A U.S. Army study first published in 1953 states that the Luftwaffe lost two fighter aircraft and shot down about 20 Yugoslav aircraft and destroyed 44 on the ground. Whereas other uh, sources state that the Yugoslavs shot down 40 German aircraft over the two-day air battle. Dive bombers in subsequent waves were able to operate at rooftop altitude. The most important cultural institution that was destroyed was the National Library of Serbia, which was hit by bombs and gutted by fire. Hundreds of thousands of volumes, rare books, maps, and medieval manuscripts were destroyed. So the British retaliation with the number 37 squadron of the Royal Air Force conducted two bombing raids on, on Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, in retaliation for the bombing of Belgrade. Operating Vickers Wellington bombers flying from an airfield in Greece, the squadron conducted raids on 6th and 7th of April and then 12th and 13th of April, dropping a total of 30 long tons, 34 short tons of high explosive bombs on railway targets and nearby residential areas. These raids were carried out despite the fact that Britain was not at war with Bulgaria until the 12th of December 1941. The bombing of Belgrade paralyzed communications between the Yugoslav military and its headquarters and contributed decisively to the rapid collapse of the Yugoslav resistance. Civilian casualties were significant, but sources vary widely from 1,500 to 17,000 killed. According to the journalist William Stevenson, around 24,000 corpses were recovered from the ruins, and many were never found. The official casualty figure soon after the bombing was 2,271, but other sources use 5,000 or 10,000, with later Yugoslav estimates ranging even higher. In contrast, Professor uh, Jozo 
uh, Tomasovic uh, states that the higher estimates were downgraded following uh, careful post-war investigations and indicates that a figure between three to 4,000 is more realistic. Following the Yugoslav uh, capitulation, Luftwaffe engineers conducted the bomb damage assessment in Belgrade. The report states that 218.5 metric tons, 215 long tons, 240 short tons of bombs were dropped, with 10 to 14 percent being incendiaries. It listed all of the targets of the bombing, which included the Royal Palace, the War Ministry, military headquarters, the Central Post Office, the Telegraph Office, passenger and goods railway stations, power stations, and barracks. It also mentioned the seven aerial mines uh, were dropped and areas in the center and northwest of the city also had been destroyed. After the invasion, the Germans forced 3,500 to 4,000 Jews to collect rubble that was caused by the bombing, of course. The British, Greek, and Yugoslav high commands intended to use Nice as the uh, linchpin in the attempts to wear down the German forces in the Balkans, and it is for this reason that the locality was important. When the Germans broke through this sector, a sector which was essential if stability was to be maintained on the front, the Yugoslav Supreme Command committed numerous forces from its strategic reserves, including the 2nd Cavalry Division, but these were harassed by the Luftwaffe during transit to the front and did not get through in any real quantities. Having reached Nice from its initial attacks from Bulgaria and broken um, the Yugoslav defenses, the German 14th Motorized Corps headed north in the direction of Belgrade. The German 46th Panzer Corps had advanced across the um, Slavonian um, plain from Austria to attack Belgrade from the west, while the 41st Panzer Corps threatened the city from the north after launching its offensive drive from Romania and Hungary. By the 11th of April, Yugoslavia was crisscrossed by German armored columns, and the only resistance that remained was a large nucleus of the Yugoslav army around the capital. On the 11th of April, a German officer, Fritz uh, Klingenberg, with five men, moved into Belgrade to reconnoiter the city. However, after some scattered combat with Yugoslav troops, they entered the city, um, entered the center of the city, whereupon they bluffed about their size and incoming threats of bombardment. The city, represented by the mayors, surrendered to them at 18.45 hours on 12th of April. Later, more forces moved to consolidate the position. After a day of heavy, heavy fighting, German armored forces broke through these Yugoslav defenses and Belgrade was occupied on the night of the 12th of April. So in the opening days of the invasion, Italian forces on the Slovene border carried out minor actions in the Sava Valley and the, in the um, Kestev area, capturing some Yugoslav positions on Mount Peck on the 7th of April. Uh, Grandjeska uh, Gora, uh, Zev, Zevratek, and uh, Gort and Gods on the 8th of April. Kastev, the source of the uh, Krishina River, Kals and uh, Logatsik on the uh, 9th of April, and repelling on 8th of April a uh, Yugoslav attack on the Cirkno Hills. On 11th of April, the Second Army launched its offensive, capturing Lubjanka, uh, Susak, Kaljakeva on the same day. On the 12th of April, the 133rd Armored Division, Littoral, and the, the um, 52nd Infantry Division, Corino, took uh, Senj. On the 13th of April, they occupied uh, Orakak and um, Dragak, while Italian naval forces uh, occupied several Dalmatian islands. A uh, scheduled Yugoslav attack against the Italian enclave of uh, Zara did not materialize in the city's garrison. The troops started to advance until they met the uh, Torino division near uh, Knin, which was taken on the same day. Split and Simonek were taken on the 15th and 16th of April, respectively. And on the 17th of April, the motorized corps uh, took Dubrovnik after covering 750 kilometers in six days. After repelling the Yugoslav offensive in Albania, 
the 18th Infantry Division, uh, Messina, took uh, Kirinj and Dubrovnik and Cotter on uh, 17th of April, meeting with the Italian units of the Motorized Corps. Um, so, the Italian forces are, uh, this is some of the Italian story of them pushing back against in, in the invasion. So the Hungarian offensive, so on the uh, 12th day of April, uh, the Hungarian 3rd Army crossed the border with one cavalry, two motorized, and six infantry brigades. The 3rd uh, Army faced the Yugoslavian 1st uh, Army. By the, by the time the Hungarians crossed the border, the Germans had been attacking Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia for over a week. As, as, as a result, the Yugoslavian forces confronted them, confronting them put up little resistance except for the units in the frontier fortifications who had held up the Hungarian advance for some time and inflicted some 350 casualties. Units of the Hungarian Third Army advanced into southern uh, Baranja, located between the rivers Danube and Drava, and occupied the Bakra region uh, Voivodina, uh, Voivodina with Hungarian uh, relative majority. The Hungarian forces occupied only those territories which were part of Hungary before the Treaty of uh, Trianon. So that's just some of what uh, happened with the uh, the Hungarians. Um, and of course, uh, so <clears throat> this area here is annexed by Hungary. Of course, uh, and this area here is annexed by Germany, and this area here is annexed by Italy, and then the split to Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro. So, and that's, uh, of course, held by, you have the, uh, the Italian protectorate here, and uh, occupied by Italy, this sector here is occupied by Italy, and of course, the independent uh, state of Croatia is occupied by Germany and and uh, in this area here as well, um, Serbia as well, and uh, and as well as Banat. So, in accordance with the Yugoslavian army's war plan R41, a strategy was formulated that, in the face of a massive Axis attack, a retreat on all fronts except in the south be performed. Here, the Third Yugoslav Army, in cooperation with the Greek army was to launch an offensive against the Italian forces in Albania. This was in order to secure space to enable the withdrawal of the main Yugoslav army to the south. This would be via Albanian territory in order to reach Greece and the Allied forces to be based there. The strategy was based on the, on the, premi the premise that the Yugoslav army would, uh, together with the Greek and British armies, form a new ver version of the uh, Salonkia. Uh, Salonika Front, sorry, the Salonika Front of uh, World War One. On uh, 8th of April, the hard press VVKJ sent a squadron of 14 Birgit 19 light bombers to the city of Florina in uh, northern Greece to provide assistance to both the Yugoslav and Greek armies on the Macedonian Front. The squadron performed numerous bombing and strafing missions during the course of the campaign. The 3rd Yugoslav Army of the, the 3rd Army Group was tasked with conducting offensive operations against the Italian Army in northern Albania. For this purpose, the 3rd Army had concentrated four infantry divisions and one combined regiment, Audrid, in the Montenegro and Kosovo regions. So the 15th Infantry Division, 13th, 31st, and 25th Infantry Division. The Komsky Cavalry, Audrid, as well. The Strategic Reserve of the 3rd uh, Army Group, the, the 22nd Infantry Division, Ibarska, was situated around uh, Yurosovac in the Kosovo region. In addition, offensive operations against the Italian enclave of Zara, Zadar on the Dalmatian coast were to be undertaken by the 12th Infantry Division. So the first elements of the 3rd Army launched their offensive operations in North Albania on the 7th of April 1941, with the Komsky, the, the Komsky Odred uh, cavalry covering the uh, Jersin Prokletsk mountains uh, areas, uh, advancing toward the village of Rajapukra. The, 
the Kosovska division crossed the border in the Prizren area of Kosovo and was advancing through the Dr the Drin River valley. Uh, the Varska division gained some local success at, at uh, Dibar, while the rest of the army's units were still assembling. The next day, the eighth found the uh, Zetska division steadily advancing along the uh, uh, Podgorica uh, uh, Skoder Road. Ugh, it's hard to pronounce. The Komsky cavalry order uh, successfully crossed the dangerous uh, Poletsk Mountains, uh, Pokletsk Mountains, and reached the village of uh, Kojakava in the uh, Village Bone River Valley, south of them. The uh, Kos Kosovka division broke through the Italian defenses in the Drin, uh, the Drin River Valley, but due to the fall of Skopje uh, to the attacks by the German army, the, Var uh, the Vardarska division was forced to stop its operations in Albania. There was a little further progress for the Yugoslavs on the 9th of April in 41, because although there's Although the Zetska division continued advancing towards Skodir, uh, Skodir and the Komsky Odred reached the, the Drin River, the, uh, Kos the Kosovska division had to halt all combat activities on the Albanian front due to, due to the appearance of German troops in Prizren. So they uh, certainly were limited. Um, in their ability to uh, push back in Albania against Italian forces. It happened so fast. So by at least it just this just says that by April 16th that they were forced uh, back to retreat by the Germans and the Italians. Um, so of course it was all over within a relative 11 days this whole operation. Yugoslavia through dominant government and military uh, People by the people of Serbia also was also compromised. At, and that was at the time of that government uh, before they were invaded. It was also uh, comprised of the Slovenian and Croatian people. All these people now have their own nations as well as the other small nations of former Yugoslavia. Even before the German invasion, Croats and Slovenes began rebelling against Serbian rule. Croatia formed its own government and aligned with the Nazis. Huge portions of Yugoslavia's army mutinied when the invasion commenced. The invasion began with a massive aerial bombing of Belgrade, in which tens of thousands, or up to at least up to four thousand, were killed. Very little organized resistance met the Germans outside of ethnic Serbs fighting in Serbia. So, despite having seven hundred thousand troops, through many poorly trained and equipped before the invasion, Yugoslavian resistance crumbled very quickly. So, ending in just Overall, 12 days. Uh, Yugoslavia did have a compelling strategy if faced with an overwhelming German invasion, and, uh, and that's what they did. It was um, Plan R41, retreat from all fronts except the southern, advancing on the Italian positions in Albania, meet up with the Greek army, and build a substantial southern, southern front. But due to the rapid fall of the country and inadequate gains against the Italian army, this move failed, and Yugoslavia surrendered to Germany. The Greeks fared somewhat better due to a large part uh, to a kingdom far less divided and to substantial support from the British imperial forces, including from Australia, New Zealand, and Palestine, and Cyprus. Here's a uh, uh, run on FD-17 destroyed by Brunserts' uh, division. So the local uprisings after they were conquered. Um, at the local level, infighting by Yugoslavian citizens started even prior to the arrival of Axis troops. Croats and the 108th Infantry Regiment of the 40th Infantry Division, uh, Slavonska, rebelled on the evening of the 7th and 8th of April near uh, Gradivzno, uh, Grubizno, uh, Pulj, taking command of the regiment from its Serb officers. They were subsequently joined by the 40th Auxiliary Regiment and elements of the 42nd Infantry Regiment, also from the same division. With the deteriorating situation in the area, the Yugoslav Force Army headquarters was moved from 
Belgevar to Popovica. The rebelling regiments then entered uh, Belgevar um, <clears throat> with the city's mayor, Julij uh, Mekanak, um, proclaiming an independent state of Croatia on the 8th of April. Ludko uh, Masek um, and Ban Ivan Subazic sent messages to the city urging the regiments to maintain their positions, but this was disobeyed by the rebelling military and civil officials who waited for the arrival of the German army. On the 10th of April, there were clashes between Eustasia supporters and Yugoslav troops in Mostar, or Mostar sorry. The former taking, uh, con and of course, the former taking control of the city. Several VVKJ aircraft were damaged and disabled on uh, Jasanica Airfield near Mostar, including several the uh, the German uh, Do 17Ks and some of the uh, Italian aircraft they had M SM 79K bombers. On 11th of April, domestic Eustace or, uh, Eustace agents took power in uh, Kaplinjna. They intercepted Yugoslav troops headed by rail from Most, uh, Mostar to um, Treblinj and disarmed them. A backup Yugoslav force from uh, Belica was sent in and retook the town on the 14th of April before the arrival of the Germans in the coming days. So the uprising, of course, uh, in Yugoslavia was after they were invaded, of course, uh, from, and it was initiated in July 41 by the Communist Party of Yugoslavia against the German uh, occupying forces, and of course, and their Serbian supporters, the, uh, the Serbian auxiliaries in the territory of the military commander in Serbia. At first, Yugoslav partisans uh, had moved, <clears throat> they'd mounted uh, diversions and conducted sabotage and had attacked representatives of Akramovic's uh, Quelsing administration. Um, in late August, some Chetniks joined the uprising and liberated uh, Loznica, another town. Um, the uprising soon reached mass uh, proportions, and of course, uh, especially with the mass executions and the treatment of, of um, uh, the Serbs, and Jews, deportations of Jews and Serbs, which should be coming in the coming months and days. Um, um, and of course, the treatment of um, the um, the Serbian people, uh, as well as, uh, of course, be being a, under uh, nationalist um, fascist rule, the communists wanted to push back. Partisans and Chetniks captured towns that weak German garrisons had abandoned. The armed uprising soon engulfed great parts of the occupied territory. The largest liberated territory in occupied Europe was created by the partisans in western Serbia and was known as the Republic of uh, Uzis. Rebels uh, shared power on the liberated territory. The center of the partisan liberated territory was the in Uzis, and Chetniks had their headquarters on, Ravn, on the Ravnagora area. So, <clears throat> some of the occupied territory, and of course, this is, I'm not sure, this is in, uh, in Serbian, I believe. So I have trouble reading it. <laughs> Here's Uzis, okay, here it is. This here area is the area that is, uh, <clears throat> some of this territory in here is showing, it's, it's showing uh, the dots are the liberated territory in Uzis. Um, and of course, the Germans uh, are having a lot of resistance there. This is September 41. So they only had three, the, the Yugoslav Na Royal Navy only had uh, three destroyers, two submarines, and ten MTBs. But uh, of course, this, um, in the time, a lot of them were used for, you know, uh, anti air defense and coastal defense. Um, and so, and escort, uh, local escort and patrol work. And um, so, and of course, it wasn't very effective in endeavoring um, the um, the invasion. They didn't stand up very well to um, 
German or Italian and naval assets. Um, no Italian ships, however, were sunk by Yugoslav forces. An Italian tanker was claimed damaged by a near miss off the Italian coast of near uh, Bari, but that was uh, so. <clears throat> so they had one destroyer, Yugoslav forces had one destroyer damaged, and the, and their uh, naval pr uh, prong to an attack on April 9th had faltered, and the Italian forces pushed back uh, on the 13th and um, had counterattacked and were in uh, Bentovic by the 14th of April. So the Navy didn't have much of a chance of, of putting um, a stop to the invasion or, um, or effectively pushing them f far back for very long. <clears throat> the Maritime Patrol full planes of the Royal uh, Yugoslav Air Force flew reconnaissance and attack missions during the campaign as well as providing air cover for mining operations. Their operations include attacks on the Albanian port of Duras, as well as strikes against Italian resupply convoys. And that was, uh, so that, that was a, um, a defensive tactic that would, um, would slow things down, but certainly would not stop the invasion. <clears throat> so, they, one float plane, uh, it was a German design, took on an Italian convoy, 12 steamers with an escort of eight destroyers crossing the Adriatic during the day. And of course, uh, attacking single-handed in the face of intense anti-aircraft fire. Amazing. So the, the Yugoslav Navy had at, the, at its disposal four large, heavily armed and, and armored river monitors in its uh, ravine flotilla. They were used to patrol the uh, Danube, Drava, and Sava rivers in the northern parts of Yugoslavia and its border with Hungary. So these monitors, uh, named after you know Drava, Sava, Morava, and Vardar, had been inherited from the Austrian Navy at the end of World War One. So they were all about four or five hundred tons with a main armament of a hundred and twenty millimeter guns, two or three sixty-six millimeter guns, hundred and twenty millimeter mortars, forty millimeter anti-aircraft guns, and machine guns. Um, at the start of the campaign, they had carried out offensive operations by shelling the airfields at, at Mohex in Hungary on the 6th of April and again two days later, but had to begin withdrawing towards so uh, Novi Sad by 11th of April after coming under a repeated attack by German dive bombers. On the evening, early morning of April 12th, a squadron of German uh, Junkers dive bombers, Ju-87, um, <clears throat> attacked at the Stukas, um, JU-87 Stukas, attacked um, Yugoslav, the Yugoslav monitors on the Danube, Drava, and of course the Drava, commanded by Alexander Beric, Captain Beric, was hit by several of them, but were able, uh, but they were unable to penetrate um, Drava's 300 millimeter thick deck armor until by chance one um, put a bomb straight down the funnel, killing 54 of the 67-man crew. During the attack, the anti-aircraft gunners on the monitors claimed three dive bomber shoot-down. Nice. Three dive bomber shoot-downs. Awesome. So they shot down three of those on, on this, uh, in this uh, quarrel with German um, Stuka bombers, dive bombers. The remaining three monitors were scuttled by the cr their crews later on the 12th of April as German and Hungarian forces had occupied the bases and the river systems upon which they operated. So Romania did not take part in the actual invasion of the Yugoslavians. Uh, it did provide artillery support for the German forces invading from its territory. Operating on orders from the 3rd Section of the Romanian General Staff, Romanian artillery open fire against Yugoslav barges on the Danube on the 6th of April. Romanian and German units from the Romanian bank on the Danube repeatedly exchanged fire with Yugoslavian forces between 6th and 11th of April. The main Romanian force was at uh, Lipkovka, Lipkova, um, consisting in a battery of 120mm L10 naval howitzers in a fortified position. Nearby, there was also a section of two pieces of 120 millimeter L35 naval howitzers, as well as a section of uh, 47 millimeter light uh, naval guns. The Yugoslavs retaliated with their air force. Two Bristol uh, Blenhelms raided uh, Arad, 
badly damaging one of the German fighters stationed there before both were shot down. For its contribution, Romania was awarded with six ex-Yugoslav aircraft captured by the Germans. These machines, delivered free of charge, were, however, inoperative. The Romanians cannibalized three of them in order to make the other three operational. The three operational aircraft were all Hawker er all uh, all of them were Hawker Hurricanes. So those were captured from, and there was a British aircraft that was sold from Great Britain to Yugoslavia. And of course, when they were captured, um, they were in state of disrepair. They cannibalized the lot, the other three to make the the first three operational. So in resistance, of course, there was resistance. In the remote mountains regions of Greece and Yugoslavia, resistance forces gradually emerged in the aftermath of defeat. A long and uh, appalling brutal guerrilla war raged across much of the region for the next four years. So the partisans are the Chetniks. Well, um, in late 1941, Britain recognized uh, Dragoljub um, Mikulovic's Serbian Chetniks as the official resistance in Yugoslavia. Special Operations Executive SOE agents were sent to assist them in their fight against the Axis occupiers. The Chetniks, however, soon became involved in a civil war against a rival resistance movement, the Partisans, led by Joseph Braz or Tito. And Tito um, became the communist leader of uh, communist Yugoslavia after the Second World War. He kept that country together up until uh, the collapse of the Soviet Union and up until the, um, 1990, 1991, so in 1990. Um, this force was communist, multi-ethnic, and fiercely opposed to Mikhailovich's uh, royalist movement. Growing Chetnik collaboration with the uh, Axis against Tito finally led Britain to switch its support to the Partisans in December 1943. The losses sustained by the German attack forces were unexpectedly light. During the 12 days of combat, the total casualty figures came to uh, 558 men, 151 were listed as killed. Um, 392 as wounded and 15 missing in action. So, um, during the so one of the Panzer Corps drive uh, on Belgrade, uh, for example, the only officer killed in action fell victim to a, a civilian sniper's bullet. The Luftwaffe lost approximately 60 aircraft shot down over over Yugoslavia, costing the lives of at least 70 aircrew. The Italian army took heavier casualties in northern Albania from the Yugoslav offensive there. Um, Italian casualties on all fronts during the invasion was uh, amounted to some about 800 killed and 2,500 wounded. Well, the Italian Air Force lost, lost, they lost approximately 10 aircraft and shot down with a further 22 damaged. Hungarian army casualties suffered some two, uh, 350 casualties, 120 killed, 223 wounded and 13 missing in action. From the showing by Yugoslavian ravine, uh, riverine forces from its frontier installations and in its attacks upon the, the Yugoslav frontier forces in Vojvodina, with one quarter of a Hungarian parachute battalion becoming casualties, when a transport aircraft filled with 30 troops went down during an abortive drop on the 12th of April. The Hungarians also lost five Fiat fighters and one um, Weiss uh, WM-21 assault reconnaissance aircraft during the fighting. So, during this operation, and this is this is footage actually taken from a German soldier in Sarajevo in in conquered Serbia. Um, the Germans took between two hundred and fifty-four thousand to three hundred and four and forty-five thousand. Yugoslav prisoners, excluding um, a considerable um, number of ethnic Germans and Hungarians who had been conscripted into the Yugoslav army and who were quickly released after screening. And the Italians took some 30,000 more. Approximately a thousand army uh, and several hundred um, VVKJ personnel, including one 
mobile workshop of you know six vehicles escaped via Greece to Egypt. So in their brief fight, the the Air Force uh, suffered the loss. Of, they say 45, 49 aircraft to Axis fighters and anti-aircraft fire, with many more damaged beyond repair. Those losses uh, cost the lives of twenty seven fighter pilots and seventy six bomber aircrew. Eighty five more air aircraft were destroyed on the ground by air attack, while many others were destroyed or disabled by their own air crews. Uh, or crashed during operations or in evacuation flights. Amazing. So here you have uh, Yugoslav forces surrendering to German soldiers. And uh, Yugoslav soldiers uh, digging, uh, at least preparing the road for German troops uh, coming in. So despite the brave resistance of the Greek and Commonwealth troops, the, the speed of the German blitzkrieg overwhelmed uh, defensive positions. Uh, yeah, certainly, that's in Greece and Yugoslavia, as I've, meant, I've talked about Greece before. Um, the Germans quickly captured the southern Greek cities, and the struggle ended with the fall of Athens on, the, of course, the 27th of April 1941, which, we which I did a presentation on earlier. The Allies lost around a quarter of their strength, including 11,000 men captured. Nevertheless, about 45,000 Allied soldiers were successfully evacuated to Crete, German losses were about 11,500, with 2,500 dead. So, Axis victory was was uh, swift, of course, with uh, as early as April 14th, the Yugoslavian high command had decided to seek an armistice and authorized uh, the army and army group commanders to negotiate local ceasefires. That day, the, the commanders of the 2nd and 5th armies asked the Germans in terms, but were rejected. So I'm going back to the actual surrender. I was talking about the casualties and the and, uh, and after afterwards, so now I'm going back to the actual surrender. Um, so, and we know what happens uh, to the Jews, as I mentioned about the Jews and the, and the, the Serbs, what would happen, what will happen afterward. Um, we're going back to into um, the, uh, the the actual surrenders. Um, that day, the commanders of the second and fifth armies asked the Germans for terms, but were rejected. Only unconditional surrender could form the basis of negotiations. G negotiations that were told that evening, the high command sent an emissary to the headquarters of the first Panzer Group to ask for armistice. And in response, General von Kleist sent the commander of the 2nd Army, von, von Weiches, to Belgrade to negotiate terms. He arrived on the afternoon of 15th of April and drew up an armistice based on unconditional surrender. So on the 16th, the Yugoslavian delegate arrived in Belgrade, but as he did not have the authority to sign the document, he was given a draft of the agreement and an aircraft was placed at his disposal to bring in authorized uh, representatives of the government. Finally, on the 17th of April, after only 11 days of fighting, 11 days, 12 days of fighting full, um, the pre-coup the pre -coup minister, the foreign minister, Alexander uh, Sinsar Markovich and General Redov G. Uh, Jen Jenkovic signed the armistice and unconditionally surrendered all Yugoslav troops came into effect the following day, 18th of April at noon. At the signing, the Hungarians and Bulgarians were represented by liaison officers, but they did not sign the document because their countries were not officially at war with Yugoslavia. The Italian representative, Colonel Lugi uh, Bonifati, signed the document after noting that the same terms are valid for the Italian army. So that's the overview of the of the invasion of Yugoslavia, the Balkans War, and uh, all right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Aaron Boma, military specialist for Carlton County.